Hi there, this is Abhishek and in this video I will talk about the sets in the Tableau. So basically sets have been created on the dimension based on some sort of a condition. Let's say for example we want these high value items uh, to be a part of one set. So what we can do is we can create a drag over here and just go over here right click and create a set. So once we create a set, we can give a name. It, so all of these product names are coming together and we can give name like high value products and click OK. Once we have the high value products like this, you know, we can segregate between the products which are uh, high value and low value. So by clicking it over the color, it shows you clearly what are our high value products over here and what are our low value products. Uh, based on the uh, set that we have created on the product name so that's that's one way of uh, creating a you know set another way is uh, you can go on the product name fill over here click on this down arrow and click on the create set once you create a set let's say we want to create a set where uh, we are saying that profit is greater than dollar ten thousand and we are specifying a condition like uh, we are finding the profit field and saying sum and saying greater than or equals to ten thousand and clicking ok so now we are having a profit is greater than ten thousand that's the set we have created and let's remove this and put it this one on the color so here we have all the values where the product name uh, or all the products where say profit is more than 10,000 as you can see over here it's a limit so clearly it is you know creating a different uh, segment altogether of for all those products where uh, you know sales is more than, uh, I'm sorry the profit is more than 10,000 Let's create another set on the product name and uh, in this case what we will do is we will say uh, sales is more than uh, 50,000. So going to the field saying sales sum we have other formulas as well so we can use whatever we want but for this example I am going to show you that sales is greater than or equals to 500,000 and click OK. So now we have uh, greater than 10,000 uh, profit and this is let me change the name by going into that it said sales greater than or equal to 50,000. All right so what happens if I just put it over here on the color. So here it has replaced the previous one where you know the profit was more than 10,000 and now wherever the sales is more than 10,000 it is basically you know uh, creating a set or it has been completely replaced the profit over here but what if if you want to join both of the sets well that also you can do so that you can make your condition more complex and for that we can come here on this any of the spill and click and click on the create combined set so first since we chosen since we have chosen this one uh, first of the set which is coming profit is greater than 10,000 and then the next set is sales is greater than and equals to 50, uh, 500 50,000 I'm sorry and then we are creating an inner join that means only those values where sales is greater than 10,000 and profit is greater than 10,000 and sales is greater than 50,000. Similarly, uh, we have other options like uh, you must have read about the different types of joins. So this is outer join, this is inner join, only the matching value. This is like a left join. So whatever is on the left. So here in this case, profit is greater than 10,000, only those values uh, and matching with the uh, and the values which are present in sales as well. So here sales value which is greater than 50,000, all of those values as well as matching values from here. So that's how you can create a combined set. Here we are just looking at the inner join and we are saying 
let's give it a name profit greater than equals to 10,000 and sales less than equals to 50,000 and click OK and here we have so let's replace this with this and now we are able to see sales uh, which is uh, more than 50,000 and profit is greater than or equals to 10,000 so that's the different ways in which you can create a set and since it is a bit dynamic in nature it provides more value as compared to the last discussion we had on the group so hope you have found this useful and i'll meet you with a new video with a new topic